For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem where they want you to find the internal normal force, shear force and bending moment at both point C and point D. Assume that B is a roller and point C is located just to the right of the 8 kilopound load. Notice that it's important, just to the right. That being said, so let's do, first let's do it at C. So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta find the reaction at BY. You know that A is anchored, so it can have a possible horizontal reaction, so that's not a very good point to try to find. So we're gonna try to find BY. To find BY, we're gonna do the sum of the moments at A, assuming clockwise is positive and it is equal to zero. So you got the moment created by the 8 kip uh, force right here, which is at a distance of 8 feet times 8, and it's positive because it makes a clockwise moment, minus the 40 kip per foot moment we have at the very end of this assembly minus the moment created by the by which is by times 24 because 8 times 3 is 24 and all of that is equal to 0 when you solve for by you get that by is equal to 1 keep now first let's do c So, we're going to use this section to do C. So we're going to cut the assembly right at that section, right there. This is going to be C. Let's say this is the share. This is the normal. And this is the moment at C. And we have by right here, and we have a moment of 40 keep per foot right here. Now remember that point C is located just to the right of the 8 keep load. If it's located just to the right and you cut it at C, then it's not going to be in this diagram. You don't put keep right here where I put my shear force, so keep it will be on the section to the left. So, assuming this orientation for the X and Y, you know that the sum of the forces in the Y is equal to zero, which means that minus the share plus BY is equal to zero, which makes the share equal to one keep. sum of the forces in the x is equal to zero the only force in the x is the normal which makes the normal equal to zero and assuming clockwise is positive sum of the moments at c is equal to zero which means the moment at c minus the 40 key per foot moment we have at the far right minus the moment created by the by which is by is 1 and the distance between c and by is 8 plus 8 which is 16 so 16 times 1 and all of that is equal to 0 when you solve for the moment you get that the moment is equal to 56 kilopounds per foot and it's positive so it's going clockwise all right so let me kind of like turn the page and now we're going to do D. We're going to cut, we're cutting this right at D. This section to do D, so add D. We get this section, which is, it will be D. So let's say the shares going down 
Let's say the normal and the moment at D. We still have this moment at the far right, which is 40 key per foot. And we still got BY, which we know to be one keep. So again, draw your orientation. This is the X, this is the Y. Sum of the forces in the Y is equal to zero. So the share plus BY is equal to zero. So the share for D is the same as the share for C, is one keep. Sum of the forces in the x is equal to zero. The only force in the x is a normal, so the normal is equal to zero. And assuming clockwise is positive, sum of the moments at d is equal to zero, which means that the moment minus d 40 key per foot moment at the far right minus the moment created by the by, which is the by times eight, because the distance from d to where the by is, is 8 feet, and all of that is equal to 0. The bending moment created is equal to 48 key per foot going clockwise. So final answer for the moment at D, the share at D, the normal at D, this is D, this is not C. And final answer for D, share at C, the normal at C, and the moment at C. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.